That's not fair. I just get back from Wimbledon, and you're already heading off to New York. Oh, it's just for a couple of days, honey. I'll be home in time to see you in the tournament. Sure, if I don't get a case of the jet lag. Well, where's this new club you're raving about? It's just over past the backyard. I didn't want you to have to travel too far. <laughs> Thanks. Well, since you're deserting me now, I think I'm going to put on my shades and go over and check it out. You spent two years struggling to be a star, and now you're going into disguise? Strange. Not really. My arm's hurting me from signing so many autographs. And anyway, no one will recognize me, and I can see what the people I really like. I gotta go. <laughs> Bye. Kiss, bye. Come on, Sven. I'll give you the royal tour. Such a good friend. We try, we try. Up, Sven has got to check in. Save your ink for tomorrow for Sandy McCann. She'll sign a blank check just to get her name down on paper. Really nice girl, this one. Uh, Sandy McCann is not in your league, Sven. She's just a low-talent airhead with nothing but great legs and a pretty face. <laughs> she turns tennis into a fashion show. What? What is airhead? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Thank you. you weren't hurt in the crash. Well, the tractor trailer was a write-off. Stan, I would like you to meet my very special friend, Paul Walters. Paul, my brother Dan. Hi, Dan. Good to meet you. Really? You go to Jeannie's college? Thanks for dropping Jeannie off. No, Dan, Dan, Paul is my house guest for the tournament. House guest? We'll discuss that later. 
Why don't you, uh, take it around the back of the building? Wouldn't want to be charged with littering. Don't get high-handed with me. We'll park the car in the lot if we want to. It's okay, Jeannie. Can we help it if they got no class? Thanks, fella. Look, Jeannie, this is the gift you got for... It's a surprise. <laughs> well, thank you, neighbor. I saw you on the street. That's my boyfriend, Dan. Was. Sven is taking you to the turn of the banquet. Aren't you lucky? Who? Sven Hansen. The international tennis star. I set the whole thing up. Well, unset it. I'm engaged to Paul. I went to a lot of trouble for you. He's worth millions. Half the girls in the city would die for a date with him. <laughs> Let him date one of their corpses. I'm not gonna be your ego builder. Here he comes. Lose him and get back in the game, okay? Dan, here's your birthday present. Open it and get off my case. Thanks. Don't thank me. Thank him. I don't thank dogs. People, they sure complicate life. Get rid of the dog, too. Hi. Everything okay? Perfect. Let's go in. And you, please. I'm a member here, too. Dinner date coming through the door now. Isn't she something? Very something. She has boyfriend. Nah, just a couple of strays. So hang loose. I'll get rid of them. She's dying to meet you. Good. Hi. Oh, sorry I was a bit short with you about the car. A lot of pressure on me with the tournament, you know. How about a nice, friendly game of tennis later? I don't really play. Oh, not to worry. Just for fun. If you need me, just shout. Be back in five or ten. That's a switch. Seems quite charming. The bag has opened. The cobra just slithered out. And Dan says not to worry. <laughs> worry. Looks like we've got a watchdog. Global Telegram, give me Henry Spratt. I'm in a hurry. Henry, I need a $50 favor. I got a deadbeat at the club I gotta get rid of. Yeah, I need an official telegram that'll get this guy out of town fast. Okay, his name's Paul Walters. Yeah. Oh, good, Paul. There we go. Good shot. Ah, oh, tough shot, here we go. What are you up to, Python? Telegram for Mr. Paul Walters. He's a guest here. Holy cow! by a dog. I want danger pay. What are you talking about? That dog there stole the telegram. I want my $50. You blew it, dummy. Now get out of here. This is a ripoff. I want my money. I could have distemper. Who is that telegram for? Paul Walters. It's all lies. Shut up and get out of here. Too far this time, Dan. Cheap amateur tricks. I love Paul, and I am not going anywhere with that Swedish meatball. But what, what is a Swedish meatball? <laughs> Enough of this. I call the shots around here. You're forgetting one thing. I'm still your official guardian, and you'll do what I say. Is that clear? He is a mistake. He will not be our house guest, and you will not see him again. 
This club is out of bounds to you as of this moment. So is my sister. So, won't you come? Just a minute. Brother or not, you're an arrogant bully. And I want... Suppose you want to duke it out now that you've lost. Look, I just want to solve this problem any way that's grown up and fair. Come on, Paul. Those words aren't even in his vocabulary. Tell you what, hero. I'll play you a match for my sister. You get any partner you want. You win. I'll back up. You lose. Jeannie dates Sven. You're contemptible. That's the deal. Take it or leave it. Is it true? <laughs> yeah. He's my official guardian until Mom and Dad get back from Europe. Dan! You're on. <laughs> Terrific sport. Who's your partner? I am. What's this? <laughs> Sandy McCann. A tennis player. Star. A nice try, Fido. She's not due till tomorrow. Anyway, I could knock her socks off. Come on, Sven. I'll buy a drink. He can beat us six ways from Sunday. Ever hear of David and Goliath? Hey, buddy, what are you doing? He wants us to follow him? Give me my bag, buddy. I gotta have a towel to toss in. Too happy if she sees that picture. Excuse me, Mr. Ken. Sorry to trespass, but the dog. No problem. Come on over. He thinks it's our house. Uh, I'm Ginny Grant. I just live down the street. He's a great dog. Just doesn't have a very good sense of geography. Hey. Uh, don't touch that, Sandy. It's poison. What is this? A joke? It's part of a long story. Well, if this is a story with my picture in it, I think I want to know a lot more about it. Jeannie, maybe we should explain things to Sandy. I mean, this may be crazy, but I think that's why the dog brought us here. Well, okay, my brother is the pro over at Rose Glen. He's your brother? I saw him in action today. <laughs> this is for your sister. One problem, though. No, no problem, Sven. I promise she'll be your dinner date. I have already three date dinners. I have this one, and I have this one. No, <laughs> oh, no, Sven, listen. I'll get rid of Jeannie's boyfriend. Trust me, just be patient. I've got a plan. Scram, ladies, he's booked. I don't believe this. He's pulling rank with you because he wants to ingratiate himself with Sven Hansen, and you can't do a thing about it? Except try to win. I don't have a chance. Wouldn't be Dan if it were fair. Hey, what's this for? 
he's suggesting, dare I say it, that you play in Jeannie's place. Really? A dog that can think? Plot strategies? <laughs> it's not Sandy's trouble, fella. I think it's a great idea. Your brother destroyed my photo and called me a loser. I sort of owe him one, don't you think? But Dan would know. Give me your hat. Hey, terrific. We'll switch outfits also. Well, thanks to you, now we have a chance. Let's go. We only got a few minutes. Where's Jeannie? Taking some last-minute tennis lessons? She's just switching outfits with Sandy McCann. Won't be a minute. Whatever. There she is. OK, Jeannie, let's get this thing over with. I understand we volley for serve, rally for service. Here. Oh, uh, sorry. Does that mean you get to serve? Right. <laughs> Hang on, this won't take long, Jeannie. Jeannie's over here. What? Your opponent, Sandy McCann. Alias Airhead, loss leader. Hey, hold on. The deal's off. You're not pulling this. You invited me to get any partner. I also told you that Jeannie was switching with Miss McCann. Are you backing down now? Defaulting? Two on one. The handicap's in my favor. Go for it. Oh, uh, sorry. Don't move unless I tell you to. If I say jump, jump. Got it. Hit it, Paul! Move! Hit it, Paul! All right! It was out! Hey, it was out! It was out! Get that dog off the court. The dog was right there, and the shot was good. That dog is always right. Get it off the court. Why don't you get out of here, too? You're spoiling a good game. OK, let's play some tennis, hot shot. You're on. Very good. Here. Oh, 
the old weighted ball trick, huh? What is it? Glue? Silicone? I didn't know. Really? Right. You didn't know. It's still an automatic disqualification. But I'll tell you what. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Play it for one more point. Showdown. What do you say, Mr. Clean? Winner takes all? You just don't know when to quit, do you? You're on. through for us like the cavalry. It was fun, and I don't mind a little vendetta when the cause is right. You know, the way your dog can think really impresses me. He brought us all together. Not ours, but he is incredible. Would you come with us tonight to the banquet and dance? We'd be honored. Thanks, but three's a crowd. Oh, no, Sandy, that's OK. Really, we'd love to have you. I can spare Paul for a Maybe one or two dances. <laughs> right, Paul? No, but thanks all the same. I need my beauty sleep. And besides, you guys should be alone at last. Dogs just uh, ask you to the banquet, Miss McCann. He is a very clever dog, and he's always right. So please, will you join me tonight? You old matchmaker. You never stop. <laughs> I'd like that, Mr. Hanson. I'm a fan of yours anyway. Oh, good, good. <laughs> and I'm a fan of yours, too. We'll make it a foursome. Hey, where are you going? Maybe he has a date of his own. Thanks. Bye, fella. There's a voice that keeps on calling me Down the road, that's where I'll always be Every stop I make, I make a new friend Can't stay for long, just turn around and I'm gone again Maybe tomorrow I want to settle down Until tomorrow I'll just keep moving on in Toronto, guests of The Littlest Hobo stay at the Ramada Renaissance, a very out-of-the-ordinary luxury hotel featuring non-luxury prices. Cars for the Littlest Hobo, supplied by Tilden, the only Canadian name in worldwide car rentals. Tilden features cars by Chrysler, like the Reliant. 